Welcome back to the Non-Alcoholic Beverage Connoisseur. Hal Gay, we're here with Stagehand Christian. How you doing, Christian? Very good. Anything going wrong with you? I'm just excited to be on the show again. Are you excited? You're that excited? Yeah. Yeah, how excited? Yay. Like if you could, if you could measure it with some hands? Like about that big? Yeah. So you brought in a beverage for us that I haven't seen and or know where it is. It's right there. Okay. Well, we're ready for it. I brought in Vita Coco. Is this coconut water? Yes. Do you like coconut water? I've never had it. Nobody likes coconut water. Never. Well, it's uh, it's carbonated, so. <sighs> Sparkling coconut water? Sparkling coconut water, pineapple passion fruit with electrolytes. So, this should prove interesting. Best served chilled or over ice? You're welcome. I refrigerated it. Whoa, very cold. It's Proud freezing. of that. Let's see. Ingredients. Uh, yes. Carbonated water. Of course. It's sparkling. Uh, coconut water from concentrate. How does that work? You see, it's a very sophisticated process, Christian. They take the coconut off the tree, oh, yeah. if it hasn't already fallen. Then they slice and or dice then the concentrate of the coconut is used for the water. Okay, sounds good. Okay, okay. Glad and we got that uh, under control. Also, passion fruit juice from concentrate. A lot of concentrate. Pine yeah, pineapple juice from concentrate. Natural flavors and citric acid. I'm a fan of citric acid. A I bubbly so. burst of coconut benefits. I want these coconut benefits. You've never had coconut water. I've yeah, I know. I, I want these coconut benefits. I want the benefit of the coconut. What benefits are coconut? I don't what? know. I, I believe you. Oh, it's like smoking. Oh, refreshing. Sweet. It feels refreshing. Yeah, it does. What do you think? I'm thinking it's going to be interesting. What color do you think it's going to be? Probably some kind of light color. Oh, it's just kind of like a murky looking water. Is that high enough for you? Looks like some kind of cream soda, kind of. It smells nice, actually. It does. Have you had your ample servings of passion fruit today? No. I've never even eaten a passion fruit. Hmm. Well, now you're going to drink one. I know, right? I know, right? I know, right? Maybe this time we'll drink the whole thing. You're going to finish it, no matter what. Yeah. I'll try. I mean... <laughs> Let's just smell. I think we should do another smell, huh? A real legitimate smell this time. Oh, that's a good smell. You're going in? I'm a little nervous. You're a little nervous? Is your, is your stomach doing flip floppies? A little bit. Oh, it's so good, right? So good. I love it. That's, that's interesting. I think interesting. we should drink a lot of it. I'm, I mean, it's not, it's not horrible, but it's just a weird... Mm, it's so good. It's a weird flavor. Pineapple yeah. and coconut yeah. water. Really goes well together. I think we should just drink a little more. How about you? Oh, you don't, you don't like coconut water? Not particularly, no. Mm. Are you going to try to beat me? Maybe. It. It's oh man. It's better than some chugging it was a mistake. It's better than some coconut water I've had. And that's mostly probably because it's being overpowered by pineapple and passion fruit. Yeah. And the uh, carbonation you, definitely helps. And I'm a little confused because most coconut water I've had in the past has you the chunks of the coconut were in it. And I feel like this is missing that. It's 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 fake coconut water. It's soda coconut water. It reminds me of this uh, soda. If you've ever been to like the uh, Coca-Cola Museum in Atlanta, they have this infamous soda called Beverly. It's like this like palate cleanser that they use in like Italy or something. But it's like this weird like bitter-ish taste. And this kind of this is like it. I was I was thinking yeah, it's it's not like I didn't know you sweet, were such like a, a connoisseur of fine beverages. It just reminds me of that oh, soda. Okay. It's not like that coconut water that does like natural people like 
buy, like the people who buy those mama chia things and do yoga. Yeah, yoga people, yeah. We should talk about yoga people for a while. What do you got? You got any funny jokes about yoga people? No. Do you have any jokes about people who dress up their dogs in clothing? How do you feel about people who um, put uh, leggings on their animals? How do you feel about people who wear leggings themselves? You be careful here. Your future wife could be wearing leggings right now. Um, I don't really. I, I think they're like kind of weird though. It's like, hmm. it's like a second skin almost. Like, a second skin. They, they like, it's just so like strangely tight. Like, <laughs> it's, I'm just saying though, like, cause it's weird. Like, it's just like, it's just it, like attached to your leg. Oh, and by the way, I wore these beautiful 4th of July socks. We don't have a very good angle of them here. We probably don't. They're almost as tight as leggings though. And I also have oh, this yeah. hat. One of the props, huh? Featured in How a past video. How does that actually video. fit your head? I don't know. I have a big head. It, you should wear it for the rest of the video because I feel like this is USA week. Yeah. yeah. Even though these coconuts probably came from like some yeah, island not. out in the Pacific. I, I was a kid. I had a, a, a black cat. We were throwing black cats and one blew up right by my ear. Oof. What'd you say? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, welcome to the club. This guy has grown up so fast. We've should we do a little in memorandum video from your from your childhood? And you know what? Now is a perfect time for a commercial break. Oh yes, we do need to make that ad revenue. We need to have at least two commercials in this one. Okay, so uh, that's the end of this segment. We're gonna have to cut to a commercial break. We'll be right back after this exciting commercial. Introducing Super Mega Stuff Oreos. <laughs> Super. Well, that was an interesting commercial. That was an interesting commercial. I don't know if the product is going to be sold or if anybody's going to want anything to do with that, but it was a worthy effort. Yes. Worthy effort, yes. yes. Thank you to our sponsors at the uh, foreshowed commercial. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. you you're what keeps this program going. Mm -hmm. Without you, this program would be nothing. And for that, our deepest hand on heart america thanks so so would you recommend this to anybody there christian young christian no it, it would is. you ever drink it again maybe if i was like dying and i needed some kind of water i guess i would drink it but it's it's really not that good why are you and dying if well like if i was dehydrated or something oh I think at that point I was and, just and you randomly ran across a, a bucket of uh, a cooler filled with only Vida Coco Los Sparkling Coconut Water. This would be the only thing you would take? You would go for it or would you just eat the ice in the cooler? Eat the ice in the cooler. Well done. If well, there, if there was that ice, was a I trick question, Christian. A trick question. So how do we end the show, Christian? That's always the hard question. I don't know. Do you Maybe. want to do a song and dance routine? No. So overall, I'd give this drink maybe like two and a half, three stars out Ooh, of five. Ooh, star ratings. I five. like the star ratings. Out of five. Yeah. You would give two and a half out of five. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't terrible. It, it wasn't it terrible. It wasn't terrible. But it wasn't, like, I wouldn't drink it like, oh, this is fun drinking. If you were stuck on a stranded island with only coconuts, would you eat them? I, I do actually like eating coconuts. If you were stuck on an unstranded island, would you drink the coconut water? Uh, if you were drinking salt water and became dehydrated, what would you do? Eh. Then if the coconut water ran out of coconut eatiness ish Don't forget to 
drop a like and subscribe. Yeah, don't, where are they dropping it? They're dropping it down there somewhere. It's somewhere down there. I can't really Is that actually gonna trigger in the YouTube system if they drop it down there? I, I think so. Should. Right there, right? It's like right in that area. I don't yeah, know. right there. Don't forget, or he'll come and find you with a baseball bat and ask you to play baseball with him. Yeah. Yeah. You'll probably beat me.